When did Fujitsu um, realize that the bugs, errors, and defects in its horizon system impacted on the evidence that was being relied on to investigate and prosecute sub-postmasters for criminal offenses? Is that in my second statement? No. no. Um, this is going to the third statement, statement. essentially, so about I, litigation support. So, so I don't know the, the, the exact date of... Um, just repeat the question again, Mr. Yes. Mr. When did Fujitsu realise that the bugs, errors and defects in its horizon system impacted on the evidence that was being relied on to investigate and prosecute sub-postmasters for criminal offences? So I think in, my, in, in the company's second statement we draw attention to, we, we knew, the company knew several times that that evidence that had been presented needed to be corrected given some bugs and errors or the data needed to be rerun. So I think there'd be several examples in the second, uh, second statement which answers your question. I, I can't give you the exact date on each and every one of them. I think in each particular um, uh, uh, ARQ request, it would be applied differently. Um, but speaking in general terms, these bugs, errors and defects did not find their way into those witness statements. Do you know why? I do not know why. I have seen um, examples of the witness statements. Um, on a personal level, I am surprised that that detail was not included in the witness statements given by Fujitsu staff to the post office. Um, and I have seen some evidence of, of um, editing of witness statements uh, by, by others. Where there was a proposal, I think you're referring to, to include at least uh, a reference to some of the bugs or some data integrity problems, and they were edited out. Correct, Mr. Beer. And I uh, no doubt you would regard that as shameful. I would, yes, that would be one word I would use. What's the other one? Um, shameful, appalling. Um, my understanding of how our laws work in this country, um, that all of the evidence should have been put in front of the sub-postmaster that the post office was relying on to prosecute them.